Virginia community has found a veteran physician who traded the battlefront for the home front, and Kathleen Koch has his story. From the moment 60-year-old Royce Emily takes your bag, he's on a verbal roll. I used to be in the advertising business, and I was a creative director and art director. And if his passenger doesn't have a story for Royce, well, I guess I'm going to have to tell you the stories. The stories can last as long as the limo ride, one after another after another. I said, sir, this is my first day. I've never folded a wheelchair in my life before, and I'm having a little difficulty. He said, it's not bad. He said, I think it belongs to Delta. All of this began less than three years ago. Royce had fallen into a three-month-long encephalitis-induced coma. He awoke to the news the company he worked for had been sold. Royce was out of a job. An old friend comes over and says, hey, I know where I can get your job, driving a limo at the airport. The stories, Royce says, all come from the people riding in his back seat. Stories that led to a monthly magazine column called Pearls from the Back Seat, soon to be a novel. Since then, I've written plays, I've written several books, magazine articles, and a ton of poetry. Read the, uh, the Howley's one. The Counter is a place, if there is a choice, with Steve, George, Roy, Alice, Tom, and Joyce. They serve greasy fries, custard pies with coffee and tea. If you look in the corner, you might even find me. This is my second home. Royce tests his poetry here first. You ever come a time when you say, that's enough, I've heard enough. No, no, I just walk away. Yeah, you know, I can do that if I go, oops, I'm busy. Are you having more fun with your life now than you did when you were an ad executive? I've got stories about the advertising business. I've even written about that. But this, this is the greatest job in the world. You can work when you want, go where you want, and do what you want. And every job you've ever had in your life up to this point, you get fired for doing that. John Zarella, CNN, West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, clearly that was Kathleen Cook. That was our John Zarella with that story that we've been teasing throughout the morning. Is a very interesting story of the cabbie who uh, is also a writer in South Florida. This is American Morning.